Hey friends, what is up? It is your girl Brittany Jade and today I am super excited to be talking to you guys about something a little different than what you might expect to see on my channel, but I could not pass this opportunity up because Instagram just released a brand new feature and that feature is Instagram Reels. If you have been under a rock somewhere or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, Instagram just released its new feature, which is pretty similar to the app TikTok where you can record short 15 second clips to enter entertain your audience and it's just a new feature that they have offered to their users which is so exciting. So like I said Instagram Reels is like a great way for creators and for business owners and for people just like you and me to get on create small video clips to entertain our audience. So similar to TikTok, you can edit multi-clipped video segments together. You can edit using different effects, you can use different filters, you can add music and things like that. A cool thing about the Reels and that it's different from IGTV. I just find that it's a lot easier to use and as we know, Instagram definitely favors video for the algorithm. So if you are a business owner or a content creator or you're looking to just give a little change to your regular content, I definitely recommend utilizing video and utilizing reels as a new way to be more discoverable and to teach your audience new things or to create funny dances and provide comic relief or to spread a message or awareness about something that you care about. So we are going to be walking through Instagram Reels today. I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to make a really easy like video kind of tutorial and by no means am I super tech savvy, but. I have been studying this for the last few days since it came out. I've actually made a few reels and I do have a TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure that you go and find me over there. I do a lot of baby led weaning content as well as motherhood videos and funny dances and things like that. But I am so excited to be bringing reels over to my Instagram feed because I feel like it is a lot more keto content and more of the kind of videos that I post here on my YouTube channel. So it's kind of nice that I get to have one melting pot for all of my favorite kinds of content to film. So let's go ahead and get into the app. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up your main screen. So when you're in your main page, like looking at your feed, there's actually a little box right underneath your highlights where you can see all of your reels now. And I really like this. It's kind of like the IGTV um, and your tagged photos, that kind of thing. So you can see all of your reels. Now you can post your reels directly into your reels section. You can also post them onto your story. So the way that I, onto your main feed, I'm sorry. So the way that I know that it's a reel is this little white box in the top right corner. So as you can see, I've posted two reels to my timeline and I have a total of three reels already. You can also see uh, how many views your reels have gotten and things like that on the bottom left-hand corner. So that is awesome. And there are gonna be two ways that you can go ahead and do a reel. My favorite way is to just pretend like I'm gonna do a story. So I'll go to my homepage, I'll click on the video, and then on the bottom there where you have the option between live story and now reels is added. So I will go and I will select the reels. And right now you're looking at my dirty floor. So you're gonna be looking at me. Okay, so when you're in reels, obviously the main button is going to record you, so you just hit record, you're recording yourself, then you can stop. So the buttons on the left hand side is going to be, the very first one is gonna be music. So if you wanted to add like a song to your video, like you can obviously press the play button and find out what songs. Yeah, let's just do yummy, cause I freaking love that. Yeah, so we're gonna click done. So that automatically adds the music. You don't have to add the music as you're filming, you can add it after the fact, but that is an option if you are somebody who wants to record along with a song. Okay, so over the next button down is going to be the speed. So this 0.5 speed is going to be half the rate, so it's going to record a smaller, like a slower clip. And obviously the two times is going to be faster and that kind of thing. And then, let's see here. So the next one down after that is the effects. Now right now the only effects that they have is like different IG filters, um, which I mean you can kind of use and obviously if you don't know anything about filters, you just scroll through them. You have the ones that you already saved to yourself. Whoops. 
you have the ones that you've already saved, you can also hit the bottom down there and browse the different effects. If you're somebody who wants to like look for something cool or find a new effect, that kind of thing, you can just search in your search bar there. Uh, so that is the effects that you can add to each clip. And then this is a cool feature. This is a cool feature, the timer right here. So on the timer, what you wanna do is, you wanna select the timer, and then this will have you, it will tell you like how many more seconds. So let's say that I only wanted to film another like one, 1 1.5 seconds in the video. So I will just select to where I want it to start, I'll hit set timer, and then when I press the film button on my, I'm gonna select my filter. So now let's say that I wanted to do a different like scene where I wanted to maybe have a different outfit on or something. So it's paused right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my different outfit. Let's just say that I wanted to have my robe on here. Okay, so I've got my robe on. So now, because I pressed the timer button, it's gonna give me three seconds to get ready. So this is great. It's kind of like that cool thing in TikTok where um, you can kind of record a video by yourself because it gives you a countdown so you can run into place, but. Yeah, and there we go. And I've got it on the two times speed, so I'm gonna turn it back onto the normal speed there. So that is how the timer works. So if you want to see what, okay. So if you want to see where you're at, like what your video looks like, you're just gonna to want to press this bottom right button right here. Yeah, you got that. And this is gonna play back the entire video for you. You see how it's gonna, so this is like a janky video, but just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. And uh, the align is kind of a cool button. That's that last little button down here on the bottom. When you press that, it allows you to line yourself up with where you were. So that way when you press, when you press the button again, you can be in the same exact spot you were, which is kind of cool. I call it like the onion feature. So I'm gonna do, And then it's just gonna play the video all the way through. And from here, this is a really weird video, guys, but from here, all you would do is you could add your text like you wanted. So let's say if I wanted to say video demo, right? Now, what I really like about the text, obviously we have the new text, which is cool. I'm gonna turn down the volume on this. So we have the new text, which is cool. But what you can do is you can change your text like this and then I really like the text because down here at the bottom you can actually adjust where you want your text to begin and end so let's say I just wanted the video demo to be in the intro like this I would just drag it to where I wanted it to end and then it would end right there so now I want the next clip to say something else so I'll say part two right and I can put that in a completely different area. I can change it if I want, same thing. I'll go down here and I'll drag it to where I want it to start right after and I'll make it go like this. So now when I go to play my video, I'll click the little white arrow and then I can do, oops, I'll go back to view and you guys can see that the text will pop up the way that I want it. So let's say that's all I wanted to do. I can just press the white arrow because I'm done. I can choose my cover. So you just wanna select this. You can do a sliding picture from inside the video, which is cool. Or my personal favorite right now, I love that they have this as an option, is that you can add a picture from your camera roll, which is awesome because then you can make like a customized picture to fit with your feed, like your aesthetic, which I think is really cool. So that is how you would select your cover. And then obviously you can type in your caption right here. You're gonna wanna use like-minded hashtags to whatever you're doing. So for instance, I do a lot of recipe videos so far. That's what I've done a lot of keto videos. So what I would do is I would do a lot of keto hashtags, that kind of thing. Um, a lot of hashtags that are relevant to whatever my niche is or to whatever audience I am trying to reach. So I do like, 
keto, keto dinners, easy dinners, you know, you know how to look up hashtags. So that is really important because the really cool thing about reels is your discoverability, which I think is so unique and so cool. And I think it can really be a serious game changer to Instagram. And I am so excited about this. I think that every single person on my feed right now should be creating these reels, especially if you have educational content or funny content, or if you have some sort of value that you want to give to your audience. Reels is the perfect way to do that and to be able to reach more people. So anyways, when you want to go and share, you can either, you can click down here where it says share to feed. You don't have to share to feed. You can turn that feature off and you can just click share to reels right there at the bottom. Or if you just want to share it to your stories, you'll just click the top up there and you'll click share to stories. If you want to record a couple of clips and come back later, all you have to do is click save as draft and then it will take you back to your main page. And when you're ready, you'll just go back to your main screen, your main profile, you'll click on the reels and right there is a draft option. So you'll select your draft, boom, boom, and you're right back. And when you wanna edit your video, you'll just click you edit and it'll bring you back to your video. And this little camera button here at the top will allow you to go back to your editing screen. So let's say that I wanted to like delete a clip cause I didn't like it. I can just go back and I'll click delete, discard. And now that clip is gone, that kind of thing. I definitely recommend that you guys start utilizing Reels. I'm super excited for what this might do for Instagram. There is one more thing that I wanted to show you guys about Reels, which is another reason why I think it's super important to start utilizing them on your channel, especially if you're looking for growth and engagement and you wanna reach more people. This is why I think Reels is going to be a serious game changer. So let me just show you guys this really quickly here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go to my explore page, like it's always like some different kind of stuff. Like sometimes it's things that's relatable. Sometimes it's not. A lot of times I feel like it's just ads. But now when you go into your explore page, your reels is at the very top. This is very similar to a feature that TikTok has where it shows you like common interests and common people that you might like. And so this just shows you a bunch of reels. And this is why I say it's so important to use hashtags that are relevant to your niche because it is going to be way more likely that you'll discover different videos and different reels of other people who you might like and therefore people might be able to find you and that sort of thing. So I really, really love this feature. This is showing me people that I follow, people that I don't follow, just things that Instagram thinks that I might find interesting based on the content that I post and based on the hashtags that these creators used while making their videos. So. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found this insightful. I hope that you guys really get out there and start making your reels. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to share it with a friend. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, double tap, comment. I don't know exactly if I'm gonna be posting this on an IGTV or if I'm just gonna be posting it on my YouTube, but whatever platform, make sure that you guys show this video some love and share it with your friends. And make sure you guys start making those reels. Get creative. I'm so excited for y'all and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.